have you thought of how the first SUV product of Aston Martin is going to look like? My name is William, together with my colleagues Joshua, Essam and Nessa are going to present to you the DBS SUV version of Aston Martin Lagonda in the next 10 minutes of our video. The following items will be captured in our presentation. It includes the business and audit analysis, global readiness for internalization and finally Select one country where Aston Martin DBS will be suitable with the help of the Global Marketing Management System online software. Aston Martin is not only a global designer, but a developer and manufacturer of luxurious cars. It was established in 1913 by Robert Bamford and Lionel Martin. It was also incorporated in 2018 with Jaden as its headquarters. With 107 year history, Aston Martin has over 85,000 units of sports cars, in which 95% of, of them are still in a running condition. In 2018, Aston Martin had 162 dealers in 53 countries and have targeted 200 dealers globally by the year 2022. At this juncture, I would like to invite my brother Essan to continue. Hi, my name is Essan Allah Markel. I'll be taking you to Aston Martin's financial performance from the image Aston Martin's sale has increased over the past three years. However, in 2018, they had a loss of uh, 57,100. Looking into their corporate strategy, uh, using NSOF metrics to focus on product development strategy and diversification. Aston Martin corporate level strategy is simple, focusing on selling their brand to high net worth individual, basically people who can afford and spend. The core strategy is their desire to sustain the exclusive reputation in luxury car industries, selling products at premium pr prices. This means um, delivering customer focused luxury cars, maximizing their revenue by tapping into a brand which has developed value since 1913, delivering top class quality in respective of their location, diversification their product portfolio to ensure long-term sustainability. Product range. Um, the core of their business are cars, including basic and specific model, but they also have invested in luxury residential development, aircraft, sport boat, fashionable clothes, and all divers diversified products. Looking into their business strategy and model, Aston Martin following the differentiation focus strategy in line with the Porter competitive model, they have three phases of business model, which each phase with a year, uh, seven years of a life cycle since uh, 2015, um, their success based on the following strategic plan consists of a six core pillars. Strengthening global brand and sale powers, top quality, uh, top class quality, passionate people and culture corporate responsibility. Their product portfolio comparison, um, compressing of core products, special items. Top note. Technology, great. Um, the, the biggest target to deliver the, pro the product with top-notch technology, for example, DBX, uh, their um, model, which you can see on the screen, is very powerful, um, uh, with, uh, which has a fast, uh, no train of barriers, fantastic towing uh, capacity and offering performance. Business models. Um, execute design. What makes DBX... Uh, it's actually designed, classy, family-friendly, special, sustainable, high word network, and it customized, made, it comes with exclusive brand and new structure. Okay, comparing target market uh, with international market. Aston Martin target market is ultra high net worth individual in their mid uh, 30s to 65 who financially independent with a spare cash enjoying their products. This means whoever uh, owns an annual average income of 135,000. Target market and home market continuations. Uh, in 2018, 28% of Aston Martin sales have been secured to UK, where 72% from Asia, Middle East, America, with 
approximately at 79 million. This clearly shows how the business is ready to explore and invest into another international country. Now, Ms. I will take over from here. Thank you very much. Oh. Hi, uh, for business audit and analysis, as you know, Aston Martin positioned themselves in a luxury vehicle market with emphasis in, uh, on power, class and status. Their main competitors are Porsche, Bentley, Maserati. These, brand, uh, these car brands serve an influent uh, and upper class market with the luxury vehicle that signifies status class matched with the powerful engine and uniqueness uh, that makes the consumer feel superior and also uh, the sponsorship of the popular 007 movie series. To assess the external market, we use Pestel and Porter Five Forces framework and assesses the market with the trends like autonomous driving, electrical cars, zero emission vehicle, uh, network connectivity technology, competitor in luxury automobile industry switching and mid uh, engine automobile, and also the risk of stealing intellectual property like Chinese low price similar design cars. Uh, we then use the value chain analysis to access the internal factors, uh, which include intangible resource like brand image of Aston Martin, uh, financial resource, the injection of 500 million pounds by Formula One billionaire, uh, res physical resources, the new uh, uh, 90 Acti factory in uh, St. Anthens for the production of GBX SUV and also the human resource like high skill workforce. So what the key students are the brand image, Nike Active Factory production facility in uh, uh, St. Anton with the following weakness of uh, a limited range of module, choice of consumer, delay investment in electrical vehicle. Uh, the key trend include uh, strength zero emission uh, standard autonomous driving cap uh, capabilities and also the uh, opportunity include growing number of high net uh, worth uh, individual Formula One partnership sport racing production and team. Swat driving strategy action, uh, strength opportunity, upcoming bond film, no time to die featuring for the Ford Model uh, Class DB5 in V8 saloon as well as DB, uh, DBS. Uh, uh, Super League and Vega. Uh, also, the strength threat is DBX to compete with the Porsche Cayenne in Marken uh, and Bentley, Bintiaga and Lamborghini Urus. So, uh, for the next stage, Joshua will come and represent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ready. All right. With global readiness. With global readiness. With over five years of international experience, Aston Martin was able to gather a total sales of 78% from Asia, the Middle East, and America. And with the help of our software screening of the market, Aston Martin standard has the requisite potential for it to explore the international market with DBS SUV product. With our market, looking at our market potential to arrive at our countries of high to arrive at our country of high market potential, we use the macro and micro analysis for us to be able to arrive at the market of Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and United Arab Emirates. And the criteria we use were free trade, free trade zone, major port of entry, attitude towards import and export for us to be able to arrive at that. And with stable government, we expect to have a stable tax system, a reliable business environment, minimal political conflict. While with free trade zone, we tend to eliminate tax, uh, import and export duties tax, which are very good for every business. And with the help of the software, we arrive at the two top markets of Bahrain and, and United Arab Emirates. And our emphasis here is that in the United Arab Emirates, we have a GDP per capita of over 43,000 US dollars, which is very good for our business. We have a stable political system, a free trade zone, which will help to promote our business over there. While in Bahrain, as well, we have no restriction to repatriation of profit, as well as we have a GDP per capita of 24,000 uh, US dollars, which is also good for our product. However, our F with, with, the, with, the, with United Arab Emirates, we have uh, over 78,000 high net worth individuals, which is very good for our product because it's a high luxury product, meaning that we have more people in United Arab Emirates who can afford our product. Of course, United Arab Emirates, this is our destination. In conclusion, with the injection of 500 million, uh, 500 million pounds 
by the Formula One billionaire, as Martin has a potential platform to explore the international market with its goals. And with United Arab Emirates growing number of high net worth individuals with high with large disposable income, we are ever ready for us to explore the, to leverage on our brand image to explore the market through direct market export. Thank you. Well done.